Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 21, verses 16 to 19 today. Jesus is outlining some of the signs and some of the events that are coming as we enter the crazy time. So let's look at these. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost by your patience, possess your soul. Now, what a word this is. Notice uh, different business about this, all right? You're going to be betrayed. Close, people who are the closest to you, friends, relatives, your own family, you will be betrayed by, just, just plan on it. Maybe you'll be an exception. There's always going to be some, some that are exceptions, but just plan on it. You're going to be betrayed because you're standing for things, the things of God, and others will not be. Some others will not be. So there's going to be that feature. Some will be certainly put to death. Some will be threatened. Your life will be threatened, but some are going to actually be killed. So that's murder. It's baked in. It's just, if you're a servant of God, that's, that's baked in. You may die. I may die for my faith one day. It's baked in. Don't worry about it. What else? Betrayal, death threats, actual death. You'll be hated by all for my namesake. So if you're truly standing for Jesus, you will be hated. You'll experience what hate really means. You know, today we are in a very cheap world, right? There's The word love has been cheapened. Who knows what it means? And also, I want to say to you that the word hate has been cheapened. And so we who are alive in the last generation, we will learn what love really means and what hate really means. We're going to see true love for Jesus. Again, we're going to see true hate for Jesus. And perhaps your eyes and mine will see that. And then we had, we had this. You'll be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. Now, it doesn't say uh, that you won't be injured. It doesn't say, but it says, not a hair of your head shall be lost. In other words, whatever happens to us, God will be ready to defend us, protect us, uh, restore us if we're allowed to be, to be harmed, and uh, he'll get us through. So we can, we can just, we need to have this bare naked trust in Jesus, nothing else. Jesus plus nothing, Jesus minus nothing, just Jesus. We can trust in him all the way. And then we had the last statement here, by your patience, possess your souls. And perhaps that's the most important thing to say here. We need to have an endurance, an endurance for God. How are we going to ever get that endurance? By, by receiving God's word into our experience. So be in the word, be in the word, be in the word. My three tips always and the Lord will get you through. Hey, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies. Thank you so much. Would you, Lord, watch over us? Help us to be diligent doers of your word, and we can't be doers of your word if we're not in, in, incorporating the word into our lives. So help us to be diligently in the Bible. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Thank you that you will take us through even the most intense times that humans will ever experience throughout all eternity, and perhaps that'll be our, our lot. Some of us who are living today, you will get us through. Thank you. We know ahead of time, and now we are going to go your way. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God's blessings be upon you all the way through the next period of months and years before Jesus comes, however short that time is.